Where on earth am I? This is some sort of portal room? I mean, it's a whole corridor full of portals, so I mean, I guess that's what you would call it. A room full of portals, a portal room. There's also bats, which are kind of gross. I'm not a big fan of bats. They've got those weird teeth. They hang upside down. Uh, they're kind of like Batman, which um, isn't one of my favorite superheroes. Uh, not going to lie. Uh, what is this, though? A whole portal room with black wool and... Well, this one's red for some reason. It's got some redstone around it. Uh, okay. And in my inventory, I seem to have a translocator. An ender pearl and some bread. Well, I mean, so we've got bread and there's a portal. I mean, can I just go through the portal? Apparently not. How, can I? Can I? Uh, maybe I need to do something with the ender pearls. Maybe it needs like to be powered up or something. Oh, whoa! We're here in a field, but there's a there's a really weird blue dragon over there. Desmond the dragon? Is it a girl? Is it? I mean, it's got a flower crown on, but then it's. It's called Desmond, which is... Uh, 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 hello? Tysa, I've seen that you've already explored the portal network. Through there, you can travel to different parts of the world that may need our help. But only one portal opens at a time. Yeah, but who on earth are you? I'm Desmond, or Desmond the Dragon. Over there is Clementine. I'm going to get back to building my house so my family can move in. But you really should talk to Clementine as there's something going on at the portal. Okay, so you're building this house. I mean, to be honest, I could do way better than this. This looks terrible. Hey, Clem. Oh, you look cute. Um, you're very, very, very emo. Let's see what you've got to say. Quickly, go to the portal gateway. We've been waiting for a time traveler like you. There's people out there who need our help. T time traveler? Yes. That thing you've got in your inventory can be used to open portals. Just go through and I'll see you in there. So this thing? I mean, to be honest, this looks like those things that you like poke people with. Or like, it's that thing that you hit things with and it goes, dong. You know? Um, okay, I'll, I'll head through the portal. We've ended here and, oh, Clementine came with us. Hey, Clem. So right here. I think all you've got to do is click with it and it should open the portal. Once you've done it, just jump on through. Okay, so it looks like we're heading through this portal and Desmond said that there may be people who need our help. Okay, I mean, I don't really like this whole time traveler business, but... Okay, there we go. Just like a nether portal. Who, who would have guessed, right? Who would have known? <laughs> totally didn't see that coming. Okay, I guess I've got to even use another one of these ender piles. I've not got many left, though. And let's head through. So it looks like we've arrived to a bunch of noisy people just going, ha, which is really annoying. But hey, Taser. Um, hello? Quickly, it's almost night. Our village defenders have gone walkabout. Take this and go find Maurice. She'll be able to tell you more. Oh, no way! Oh, this is awesome! Full diamond armor, that is gonna help so, so, so much. Thank you, Taser. Okay, it looks like this town has already been attacked quite a bit. Oh, jeez. So they have no iron golem defenders at all. That is a little bit concerning, especially for a village this size. If zombies start coming in and start eating their brains, I mean, not that I'm saying that villagers have brains to begin with. I mean, all they do is they just go, they don't do anything else, so uh, who knows, who knows. Um, okay, let's go this way. I think I can see someone in here. There we go, Maurice. Hey, Maurice. Hello. Ah, oh, finally, someone who can help us. A human. A uh, human? Yes, we need a human to craft our new golem protectors. I've heard that if you put a golem head on top of pretty much anything, it will become a protector. Quickly, you've not got much time. That, that's, that's what she sounds like. Don't, don't question it. Okay, so it looks here that there are some crafting recipes. Some feathers, some redstone, some ink sacks, and some paper. Oh, this must be making this thing over here, which looks like paper covered in blood, but I mean, we won't question it. But of course, the one thing is, villagers can't craft. They've got their hands and they're stuck together. They're like taped together. So this makes sense. They need help. Okay, pumpkins and bits and bobs. Here we go. Paper, ink sack, redstone and feather. Excuse me, sir. Can you move your butt, please? Out of my way. Okay, so it goes feather, redstone, ink sack, paper. We should be able to go and save the day here. And now we just need to craft it with some pumpkins, which should be in this chest. Of course they're missing the pumpkins. Well, I guess we're just going to have to go around the town, grab some pumpkins, and then um, get the heads. But oh man, it is definitely just about to start becoming nighttime if it isn't already. Okay, 17 pumpkins. We can do this. We can do this. I have to say, though, this village is pretty impressive, considering that they couldn't build it with their hands at all. 
That's pretty good. I mean, it's got like little spies and everything. I mean, as soon as the zombies arrive, it may start getting more holes in it like this. But TNT zombies, I've never heard of that. <sighs> I'd be worried if I was in their shoes. Hey, Maurice, I'm, I'm back, I'm back. So, we take the pumpkins and we take the golem spells and we can combine them together to make golem heads. Okay, what do we do now, Maurice? Go to the east. You'll find the infested forest. Take these items and build our defenders there. They'll do a better job of protecting us out there. Okay, so it sounds like Maurice doesn't want to have the defenders built in the town. I mean, the town does have some pretty high walls as it is to keep the zombies out. And to be honest, they might just get in the way. If we build the defenders where she wants them in the infested forest, it should work pretty darn well. Okay, Maurice, I can do that. That's not a problem. Ah, there they are. She's just dropped them. Okay. Oh, this is a lot of good stuff. Oh, a stack of obsidian, prismarine glass, lapis, bricks, sponge, and TNT. Oh, this is going to be fun. I mean, we could only actually make 15 golems, but this should do pretty well. Now, she said to go to the east, which I'm going to assume is, I don't know, this way maybe? Okay, well, when I get there, we can start building these and defending the town. Okay, I'm out of the forest now, and there is a bunch of zombies, and I think a zombie with a gun! Okay, okay, we need to get these defenders up and running very quickly. Um, I think maybe the first one to go for is a diamond defender, but first, okay, we need to get the baby zombie here. Thank you, baby zombie. Okay, let's get these defenders up and rolling because we need to make sure that we are nicely put- Okay, nicely done. That is so cool though, a diamond defender. Oh, he's gonna- Dude, there's another- There's a couple more zombies coming. Are you gonna protect us? Okay, if not, we need to get a couple more of these defenders up. Come on! What are they doing? Oh, it's one shooting at me. Okay, let's go around the back here. Right, this is not good. They, they seem to be a little bit lazy, our defenders. And there are zombies with guns. Okay. They seem to be wanting to take them down, but only when they want to. Okay, let's eat some bread. I can hear a skeleton coming. And what other things can we build? Okay, let's have a look here. We've got an obsidian, we've got prismarine, and we also have glass as well. Okay, let's try an obsidian one. Oh, that looks so cool. Glass, I don't know how effective this is going to be. It might be able to do something. Oh, that is actually. You can just see through it. That's amazing. Okay, please don't attack me. Okay. They seem to be looking at the zombies, but they don't seem to be too interested in killing them. Please, can you actually do something, guys? Like, honestly? You're just sitting on your butt. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's go grab ourselves some lapis. And we also have sponge. Oh, no! <gasps> the TNT one exploded from those skeletons. Okay, let's go down here very quickly. Let's build a brick one. Can we build a brick one? I don't know if we can. Ah, no, apparently we can't. Those brick, she's, she's, she's tricked me. Okay, can we build a lapis one? Yes, we can. Quickly, get this, get the skeleton right there. Okay, the skeleton doesn't seem to have seen me yet. Let's go build a sponge one. Oh, there is definitely a zombie there. Oh, I'm getting shot at again. Lapis one, nicely done. Oh, they're getting, the, okay, they're getting the skeleton. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I do like these sponge ones. They're pretty good. Let's get the, ooh, this is not good. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. There is one, and we want to build a lapis one as well because I think that they do better. Oh, okay, he just, he defended us. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, thank you. Aha, there they go. Nice. Oh, they are doing a good job. All right, we only have three more left, and I'm thinking we do one more sponge. There we go. We'll do one more lapis one over here. All right, I can see a zombie over here. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Oh, he's got he's got a he's got like a shovel. He looks angry. Dude, please don't kill me. Lapis, please, please, please protect me. No, please. Please, this is not a good time. Okay. Look, look. The dude's right there. There we go. Nicely done. Those lapis ones are so good. Oh, this is perfect. So we have officially saved this village. I mean, this is darndly good. Oh, he's actually now doing something. <laughs> Finally. He stopped being lazy. Okay, I'm gonna go out to the village and see what they have to say. Okay, so we've taken down all the zombies. Now let's see what he has to say. Thank you, you've saved our village from the zombie attack. As a gift, please take these with you and get back safely. We'll always be here waiting for you. But what gift have you given me? Oh, more ender pearls. Oh, that is actually perfect. Because I could use those to go back through the portal. And I've got all of these items which I'm not going to give back to them. I may even hold on to some of the golem spells so we can have our own golems oh, back at our little village. Okay, Desmond's going to love this, as is Clem. Okay, right. Let's throw through another pile and head on through. Oh, perfect. Back here. Oh, Clemen. Clementine. 
I, I did it. I, I saved it. I, I, I saved the village. Um, let me go, um, I think, yes, we could go put a sign up on it. Just to remind ourselves what this portal actually goes to. Okay, this goes to the, the zombie, the zombie protected village. So whenever I come back here now, I know that this portal is going to take me to the zombie protected village. Okay, Clementine, um, did anything happen when, since when I was gone? Yes, Desmond is in danger. You need to get back to save him. Quickly. Okay, I'm on it, Clementine. Let me go through one of my underpearls, and we're head through, and we're gonna go save Desmond. Oh, I hope everything's okay back in the town. Okay, here we go! 